Welcome back to Rimworld. We have just arrived back at our colony. Well, what used to be our colony. We only have potatoes now. <laughs> Everything else burned to the ground. We do have some stuff to harvest food-wise. We should be okay for a day or two after we harvest that. But before I unpause, it's the middle of the night, but I really need to take care of a couple things uh, before I let them just start wandering. One of which is, I almost forgot, it told us there was a mad ostrich, and that's this apparently, but I'm a little confused because it doesn't have any, like, statuses about it being a manhunter or anything. So I don't know if that just went away or if we actually do have to be careful because we are right here. That's that's dangerously close to this thing. So if it is a manhunter, I'm going to have to wake up Fluff. She's going to have to shoot at it and stuff. But for now, I'll just not worry about it and hope it doesn't come hunting. So. We have no way of preparing meals. We have no beds. We have no walls. We have no food. And Kevin is about to have a mental breakdown again. I'm um, actually, I can't believe he hasn't already. So ideally, what I'd really like to do is to kind of rebuild the stuff I had. So I have my zones all set up. I could have a little room here. I could branch off um, and have it like, I don't know, maybe split this into two rooms. Let me let me go into, um, not that. Sorry, wrong button. All right. Back to the colony. How do I do that? There we go. Zone, maybe? Orders? Plan. So, you know, I'll leave this as my, my stockpile or my <laughs> whatever it's called. I'll build maybe a 15 by 7 thing here. This I will keep as a cooler. And hopefully we'll build a research station or something here. Now, I'd like to have this as a wall. And then maybe... I don't know bedroom requirements, but maybe we could do... Mm, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Um, and then add another wall here. So we'll, hard, we'll cut this berry bush down, actually. Mm, I don't know. That seems like a bad idea. There's other bushes, though. We'll be okay. Um, so these would be the bedrooms. This would be general purpose rooms, so like research or whatever. This would be the same as it was before. Food zone. Okay. What's this line? Oh, that's the... What is that, actually? I guess that's the allowed home area, probably? Well, at any rate... Fluff obviously fell asleep right away. She's still injured. She needs a little bit of, uh, well, she has heat stroke, among other things, but she needs food and rest. Kevin also needs food. But other than that, he's actually doing really well. Like, this list used to be huge. All right. If I unpause right now, well, hold on. Let me queue up. Let me queue up some orders just so they can, first of all, order them to harvest everything. Harvest all the potatoes. Mm. Tell you what. Just in case something goes wrong, let's wait and harvest those later. Also, harvest these berries. Also, let's go ahead and build... Do we want to build wooden walls again? Or... Or... Whoops. Nope. Not that. Or do we want to build stone walls? So ideally... Mm, I wonder what good that does. It might increase the beauty of a room, I suppose. Slaughter... Just checking out these options since I rarely do. wonder what this is for. Why would you have to specifically tell someone to open a container? Uh, anyway, let's mine this. This I don't really need anymore. This I do need. But we need steel for that first. Now, we do have a lot of steel 
just laying around. I'm guessing that's because... Hmm. I don't think that roof exists anymore, but... I don't know. A loud area, home area... Oh. Why is it so large? <laughs> I guess because we put zones up there. Alright. This should be good enough. Work-wise, are they going to... What's basic? Oh, basic, I guess. Are they going to harvest first? So, plant cut, harvest. No, they're going to mine before that. Hmm. I don't like that. Let me cancel that mining order. Actually, here. I feel like... I feel like these should be twos. Yeah, so, okay, I'll just, I guess I'll keep that mining order there. Okay. Now at least he'll cut the plants first. Oh, one more thing. We need to rebuild... Hmm... Uh... Uh... Where's my cook range? Production. There it is. Smelter, huh? Fueled stove. Electric stove. I'm pretty sure I had a fueled stove before. That's a lot of steel, though. I could just use a cook... Or a um, campfire for now. But doesn't it have to be indoors? Yes. Hmm. They'll just have to eat raw food. I don't think we can do that. All right, fueled stove. It's it's is what it's gonna have to be. Let's plan on putting that. Uh, here. Obviously. Oh, right. I need to unpause, but I'm just worried about that ostrich, so give me just one second while I tell them to build steel or wooden wall. I know I wanted a stone wall. Tell you what, no walls yet. Let's go ahead and unpause and at least see what they're going to do. Okay, the ostriches are sleeping. Fluff is also sleeping. Kevin is... They're both having heat strokes. Kevin is... Oh, you know what? I should probably... Turn on self-tend just for these two. I can always turn it off for future colonists. Unloading inventory. Oh, right. We carried some stuff with us. Not much, but we do have... <laughs> this. Never mind. Less than I thought. Some light leather. Also, I learned that pants are the only thing that matters when nudity is considered. So, that's why Fluff is not happy wearing this light leather button-down shirt. I know, we need beds, we need everything. Oh, there's also this stuff, right? Hmm. Well, I don't think we can do anything with the slag yet. Where's Kevin? He's sleeping somewhere. Oh, he's sleeping in his old bed spot. That's that's pitiful. What's this? Solar flare. I, I'm okay with that. Shuts down all electrical devices. We have no electrical devices to care about. But that would be really fr frustrating if we did. Alright, we'll let them get some rest. Wonder where he put... Oh, he put it back in the storage zone. Generic storage, 30 wood. That's more than I thought. Hmm. Five more here. There's just so little trees in this area. Well, I say that, but... I guess let's go ahead and tell them to chop down those. That should give us a few. All right, I guess I'll speed it up until somebody wakes up. Hmm. 
Oh, someone... Uh, I was advised to tear these down and the store, or the floors and roofs as well. Just for materials, and that's actually a great point. So, I think I will do that soon. And let's not forget about... What's that? Oh. About uh, wherever they went. The Ambrosia sprouting? Uh, I thought it was somewhere around here. There's two groves, though. There's... Again, I don't know where they went, but they're around here somewhere. Oh, look at all those berries. That is a berry... <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to harvest those. It helps to look around the map. And there's always these. Deconstruct. Let's do that. More berry plants. See, food's not... A, what? What happened here? A cougar. An injured cougar. What's the deal? Oh, hold on. Animals? Wildlife. That's what I'm thinking of. One injured cougar. Oh, this creature is a predator. When hungry, it will hunt smaller creatures, possibly including people. That is not good at all. Boomalopes. It must have gotten a fight with, like, another animal or something. Or perhaps the pirate. You never know. Oh, there's the ambrosia. How cool. Okay. I know I said I was going to speed it up. Isn't that sad, though? Like, is that a coincidence? He just he just went and plopped down in his old bed, bed spot. <laughs> He's like, oh, man. This was where it used to be. Steel slag chunk. Oh, it can be smelted. I see. Well, I don't know. Electric smelter. Crematorium. Hmm. Steel and components. That's not bad. Takes a lot of power, though. Tailors. Hmm. I still have my spots to find, the crafting and butcher. Well, I might as well not speed it up anymore. I took that time to kind of get familiar with everything around me. Corpse Cops is still there. How's her health doing? Not too great. Badly malnourished. Hmm. So, her sight's weakened, I'm guessing, because of the stab scar. But... What does that mean, exactly? I guess, maybe shooting? Which is kind of bad, because she's our best shooter, I think. Alright, I have wasted the night away talking. Hopefully, nobody minds. There's still a lot to learn in this game. I may not be making all the right decisions, but... However, I don't think I've been doing too terribly bad, considering we've made it 17 days. And, uh, haven't died yet. It'll probably come very soon. Oh man, he needs food. They're both badly malnourished. Well, as soon as they can get to harvesting all those things I told them to harvest. In fact, speaking of plants, I better tell her to do that too. I know she's not as good at it, but it's really important that we have two people doing that right now. In fact, I think she's awake. Cloud watching. Oh <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Hmm. Recreation satisfied. Mood's going up. Kevin's still sleeping. And harvesting berry bush. Good for you. Good for you.
Oh, that's cool. It shows the range of the bow. Pretty far range, actually. Iguanas, bunnies, rats. I still can't believe the first combat encounter we had was with a mad rat. What's this? Hold on. Hold on. That gives me chills. Not literally. Almost. Uh, oh, look. Silver. I didn't see that before. But anyway. What's this? Compacted machinery. Ancient danger. As Fluff draws near the ancient wall, a sense of foreboding overcomes her. She isn't sure why, but she feels that this dusty structure may contain great danger. Well, I tell you what we're not going to do, and that is dig into that structure. I don't know anything about it other than uh, while I was browsing the RimWorld Discord, somebody was making a joke about new players digging into ancient dangers. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait until I know a little bit more about what to expect, at least. Or at least how prepared I should be. Hmm. Now I don't even know if we should get this compacted machinery then. Or if that would trigger something. Alright, Kevin's up now. I'll let her harvest these berries. Oh, they're both harvesting berries. Cool. He's gonna just eat them. That's fine with me. Even if they get food poisoning, it's not as bad as starving. Solar flare's ending. That's fine. Okay. Well, she's really slow at that. Really slow. Plants four for Kevin and one for Jenna, of course. What's she doing? Consuming the berries? Why is she going all the way up here? Why... Mm. Oh, because she wasn't... <laughs> she gave up harvesting hers to go eat these. That's funny. Harvesting potato plants. Man, this map is huge. You know what? Maybe I will... Um... I will disable that again for her. She's just terrible at it. She can eat the raw food we have. That's fine. It doesn't satisfy as much as cooked meals do, obviously. He, did he just botch a harvest? Oh, but look at these potatoes. And they, they don't expire for a month. That's great. So yeah, we're going to harvest all of these. Look at her go. And let's go ahead and build a bed. A couple beds. A double bed. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Kevin would put up with that. Let's see. Right about here. And here. What you doing, Fluff? Are you mining? Can you mine? Wow. She can. Very slowly, but she can. Meal source. Yeah, we're working on it. This. As soon as these walls go up. Hmm. Oh, look at him carrying those taters. Whoa, what's the deal? What did he just think? What was that thought about? Oh. oh. <laughs> Kevin insulted Fluff's social skills? I don't think... I don't think she's the one that needs insulted. Hmm.
Oh, 64 potatoes. That's a lot of potatoes. You can boil them, mash them, put them in a stew. <laughs> Fry them, chop them up. There's a lot of things you can do with potatoes. Also, we're now going to allow sewing since there's two people to sew. Limestone chunk. Hmm. I should disable her mining, but no. I don't want to disable everything. Hmm. Does that count as ha what happened there? What you doing, Kevin? Harvesting trees, okay. We do need the wood. Wood. Alright, let's just go with wooden walls for now. I... Here's the thing. Say I want to build a limestone wall. Where is that? Is it because we don't have a place to put... Hmm... Like, it's not even an option to build a limestone wall. Maybe I have to research it? Let me see. Mm, I don't see anything about that. Whoa. Okay, well... Maybe someone can let me know how to build stone walls, because obviously they don't catch on fire compared to steel. But I don't know how to how to build them. Well, until then, let's just build a wooden wall. And doors. That should do. We're going to need a lot more wood for that. How much do we have? 125? We're going to need more than that, I think. That should do for a while. It's getting dark. I wish we'd build those beds. In fact... Mm, let's do this. Hopefully I can at least give them a bed to sleep before they go to... <laughs> go to bed. Then even if they're sleeping outdoors, at least they'll... they'll be on a bed. Oh, we need so much more wood. This guy's pretty good at crafting. What you doing? Hauling steel to generic storage. Oh, I see. Cool. Fluff, are you gonna build the bed? Oh, nope, she's just going to sleep. That's fine, I guess. Cutting a tree? No, honestly, Kevin... Let's go have you build that bed, then you can both sleep. Don't wake up Fluff. It sounds noisy. Okay. Stargazing. That's fine. Speaking of recreation... Uh, more wood, though? Well, let's build a chess table... Hmm. Here? Do I need chairs for that? I don't know. I'm not going to build any yet, though. I'll look at him just... 
Oh, this is going to be a long process. I know we didn't have much, but... I mean, it took us a while to... Why are both of these cougars injured? Or are they? Why is there so much blood around here? Blood of a cougar. Yeah, that's his. Like, he's going to bleed to death. He's actually unconscious. Yeah, oh, well, you know what? That's a meat source. I'm going to have to keep an eye on him. And possibly butcher him up. Kevin, what are you doing? Consuming potatoes? You're going to eat 18 potatoes? What a beast. Like, if I ate three potatoes... <laughs> hmm. Alright, there they are. So this is interesting, this cougar here. Mm -hmm. Crafting spot, so we don't need to do this. Tribal wear? What is exactly does it mean by ingredients? Mm. Starvation again? Fluff, come on, man. All those potatoes. Hmm. I really need to prioritize this cooking thing. So, in the morning, I think that's the first thing I'm going to do. Let me speed it up. Oh, Fluff is up and about. And eating potatoes. Okay. Oh, it is only 2 a.m. She's probably just... 20 potatoes! Hmm. Like, we're wasting our potatoes. We could be making good, solid meals out of these. Components. And back to bed. <laughs> oh, actually, at this point, I think she's just... Yeah, she has enough rest and food. She's just getting that, that injury helping. All right. Speed it up. Kevin, how's your rest? Fine, okay, he's up 5 a.m., bright and early. So, before you go cut that tree, let's prioritize working on this stove. There we go. Then... I guess... I, I, so, obviously, I just made a bill to butcher a creature. Let me see, though. Animal corpses? Yeah, that's anything. But first, we, we hmm, well, there's no wood. Let's prioritize refueling it then. And then, rescue the cougar? No, I, I mean, I would, but food, you know? Oh, look, he's, mm, hold on. Hold on, why does that say healthy? Hmm. Maybe it's not a good idea to go bother him since he's not actually dead yet. I thought that unconscious state would be permanent, but apparently not. All right, the the fuel, the the stove is fueled. We have lots of potatoes that we need to haul. She's still resting. And then we need to honestly just make a bunch of potato meals. Like, hmm. Ingredients? I'm so confused what it means by ingredients. Animal products? Meat? Oh, I see. I still think how disturbing it is to have 
human meat as an option. But okay. Let's just do this... I don't know... Five times. Hmm... You know... How about you clean? I know you need rest, but wow, this place is awful. It'll be so nice to have two healthy, happy colonists. If that ever happens. Oh, she just keeps cleaning. Harvesting berry bush? Oh, you know what? Cancel all that. They're really far. I don't want to waste time traveling down there if we don't have to. I can always harvest these if I need to. Alright, hauling the wood. Cooking a simple meal. Well, she cleaned her own room. That's not too bad, I guess. Hmm. Here it comes. Eight potatoes. What does it take? Ten potatoes? I'm guessing each potato has... Hmm. 0.05. Yep. Our first meal of mashed potatoes that we worked so hard on. There it is. And he's going to eat it. <laughs> I guess the cook gets it, right? You snooze, you lose. Fluff. Well, that worked. Cooking more simple meals. Okay. We'll let him do his thing. I think I'm going to end it here. I I hoped I had I would make of uh, I hoped I would have made more progress on rebuilding. But at least I have it planned out. I do have a stove again. I have beds. Hopefully next episode we can get the structure finished and get it a little bit cleaned up. And she should be recovered by then. She's very close to being uh, recovered. Malnutrition can be taken care of. I mean, she's not hungry anymore. So the only thing she's unhappy about is all of this. Nothing huge. Nothing huge. But okay. For now... Again, I'll let him finish cooking, and as always, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.